Hey sports fans and guitar freaks, welcome to the Artivox Robotic Radius Rudder Jig Machine Demo Video. Here's the machine, it's all set up and ready to go. I'm not going to get a whole lot into detail about it because that's been done extensively on Facebook. If you followed us here from Facebook, hey, thanks and welcome to the Artivox YouTube video channel. Those of you who are subscribers to the channel, welcome back and thanks for your support. We're going to do a couple of quick cuts just to show the range of movement of the machine and then we're going to bring out the robot itself and we're going to see how fast this thing can actually cut a radius. Here you can see the range of movement of the machine, how it swings back and forth. It stops on the table at one end, the brace prevents it from hitting the floor in the other direction. Inside, here's our fretboard all ready to go. It's sitting on its shim, which indexes onto the top cutting section quite easily. The center line of the shim lines up with the center line of the jig, which lines up when all the holes are set up, so we know exactly where the top edge of our radius happens to be. Setting the router itself is quite easy to do. We throw a pin in the top radius along with the bottom radius, which locks the top in position. The router, sitting in its sled, just goes to one end here quite simply. I'm using a plunge router. It makes this adjustment really easy. I've got a quarter inch spiral carbide bit in there. I just push the bit down until it comes in contact with the top of the fretboard, and I lock the router off. From there, I take the fine adjustment, Make sure it's cranked tight. I let the router back up. And now I just back this off by, I don't know, 64, 30 second, a couple of millimeters, whatever your fine tuning radius happens to be. And when I replunge, it'll give me a very light skim cut across the top of the fretboard and, of course, the radius as we swing it back and forth. You can see the router itself, the sled itself, slides back and forth nice and easily. The melamine top obviously aids that. A little bit of wax on the sides here keeps everything slippery and the router sled itself is a piece of uh, acrylic and it's three-eighths of an inch thick so it's nice and stiff and it's nice and stable. The whole machine now is stable enough that rather than locking between passes the machine can simply be operated freehand. It should dramatically reduce the amount of time it takes to cut a radius on a front. And finally we can see the three quarter inch dowel that runs right through the bottom, all the holes, and acts as our pivot point. The doweling is actually the only thing I bought specifically for this jig. Everything else is scrap materials, so what you choose to make out of is pretty much up to you. Okay, that pretty much completes the uh, rundown of the jig. The next thing I'm going to do is we're going to bring up the robot, get that set up, and we're going to fire away. And this is a special treat for you guys. I know a lot of the high-end companies like Taylor and those guys out there have been using CNC machine technology to get perfect results for their guitars. Well, here at Artivox, we've gone one step further. We're actually using real cyborg technology, and this is going to be the world's first Cylon guitar writing machine.
kill shut off. Let's, uh, let's see what the robot's left us, hey? Come off the top. Swing this guy out of the way. And there we have it. Catalog's fretboard that has received no tear out damage whatsoever. Bound with spalted Brazilian rope, which is also just a little bit on the brittle side. No damage to it either. It's pretty much ready for inlay with no sanding required. So, once again, thanks for stopping by, sports fans. And hope you like the demo.